What's up? I'm down here with Jessica from Iguana Solutions, and we are gonna go get some iguanas. Those spiny tails, killer man. Got you, iguana. Got, Got you, you iguana. iguana. We're gonna try all the guns out, but we're gonna see if we can make them all just take out all the iguanas. Awesome, guys. Spiny tail, left side of the building, 37 yards. Dead. Ooh, got you a spiny tail! <laughs> My first spiny yeah. tail! <laughs> yeah! Up. We gotta go get her. I wonder if she has eggs in her. Wait, wait, wait. If we go, we'll scare others. So okay. if we leave her, there should be more on the other side. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Is that a spiny tail? Where? Look, look, look. Look. Yes, I see. It I is. See. Yes, oh, by the white thing, right? By yep. the white. Yes, yep. that is. It's a male. We've got another spiny tail. We spotted a male. He's dead. Oh, he just a flip it around. Got you, spiny tail. Oh, I think he just stood up. Did you see that behind the rock? No, I didn't. Wait, he's got a round in his head. <laughs> Here, let me see if I can see anything else through the scope. Dang. Okay, so that was the boy. There's the female. There's gonna be more girls on the other side. He keeps four or five females. Oh my god, I've never this tail is unreal. It's like right? a weapon. It look is. Look at how pretty this guy is. And look how fat his tail is. He's very healthy. He even has the jowls. Not all yeah. spiny tails have jowls. He has the jowls like a green iguana would here. Let me let me grab the Fan female. Yeah, we got his girlfriend too. Steve got his girlfriend. So here's the female. You can see the difference in Yes, yeah, males will be brighter colored. You can see that she's also dirty because she's living underground. We'll show y'all her hole in just a second. He is showing the brighter colors because it's male here. And then also spiny tails clearly get the spikes right here on top and the females do not show spikes. And these are a lot shorter than the on the greens. Right, green iguanas get real tall spikes. These ones are mean too, like their temperament is like a hundred times meaner than the green iguanas. Yes. And they, look at this thing, that's just a weapon. We actually hear that these are better to eat than green iguanas. This is the black Mexican spiny tailed iguana. His scientific name is Tenosaurus similis. And you can tell a male from female also even by the head. If you look, she has kind of a blunt nose and the male gets more of a pointed head. It's hard to tell on this boy because he has such a fat head, but that's because this is such a large one. They don't usually have such a fat head. It'll be more of a pointed head for the males. Let's check out his teeth because they're omnivorous. Oh wow. oh wow. So spiny tails, I've shot a green iguana on a roof before and a spiny tail ran out, stole my green iguana and ran off and ate it. Cool, they will get them. Jessica, thank <laughs> you so much for putting me down here on these guys. It's amazing. It, you were saying that you don't really see colors like this before on them. The, the bright orange. This, so we do see bright orange, but this guy is particularly orange. He is very nice. If you check my Instagram and compare it to some of the pretty males that I've gotten in the past, you'll be able to compare and see how nice this is. I often try, try to take photos of their back. We're gonna keep this one and try to skin it. We're gonna try to get a hold of Feel the Burn. They do awesome stuff with the invasive species skins here in South Florida. He makes wallets, shoes, footballs, all kinds of really cool stuff. This guy's just too gorgeous to waste. We're also gonna cut open this female in a minute and make sure she doesn't have eggs. I'm pretty positive spiny tails do not produce eggs the same time of year that greens do. So we'll be able to have a little bit of information to verify if that's true or not. I see him. Got you a spiny tail. <laughs> Nailed him. He's a good one. That was a good, good spot on him. There's a bunch of green Ready? wandering around. Oh, there's a good green one on top of the log over there. You see him? The on log, log? Up to the left, the rail tie. A big orange boy, green iguana. There's a log. Yeah, yeah I see, see him. I see him. Big boy on the log. He's dead. 
Let's see what else I can get. I think that we straight through we might need to be careful. All right, so we're gonna show you why we got these spiny tailed iguanas. This place is a banquet hall. They do birthday parties, weddings, and all kinds of stuff. And these iguanas have been living under the building. This is one of the holes. This hole was here last year. We informed the people about it and they did nothing. It had one spiny tail last year and now they have approximately six. Well, six three. minus three. Yeah. <laughs> because Steve got three. So you can see the unreal number of tail marks. These are tail drag marks. So you have a really good idea of how many iguanas come through here. And we have a secondary hole down here that probably is linked to the first one. Under the building, it's all eroded linked. from hole to hole. Yes, and wow. I'm determining that because I recently dug out some holes in some sand piles. Normally I can't dig out a hole because it's too hard, but these sand piles were real soft. And I would start digging a hole, and I would dig it out, dig it out, and it actually links up to another hole. So I think when they have collapses in the hole, they try to dig out a new way. And when they find out their new way, they end up using that as the new entrance, and now they have two entrances. These things are devastating to the environment. She'll be able to breed the first year that she comes into season. The spiny tail eats our native species because it is omnivorous and it eats plants. So we witnessed them we eating the grass earlier, but they also run over and eat a bird or a number of small animals that we have here. So got your spiny tail with all your eggs. We just noticed some of the eggs have dark spots. It's possible that these are windows and that they're bad eggs, or it's possible that they're fertilized and this is the beginning of growth. So I'm gonna pop it. If it's growth, I would expect to see some sort of central heart or veins coming together. So this is gonna be gross. Yeah, so this is veins that are starting to grow inside. These are fertilized eggs that she had in her. So she is already bred. You can see the blood veins in there. I used to uh, hatch ducks and chickens. You can see that the left side, she has these fertilized. These are fertilized eggs here. That's absolutely nuts, y'all. This is insane. I've never had that happen. This is really cool. So we can see, we can expect uh, veins to be right here from Pop this. You can, <laughs> you can like attack people with these. Y'all notice they're perfect paintball size. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see the veins? That's the heart forming right there. And these are the veins coming out and as it uses up the yolk, these would develop. So I pop two, we got five, six, seven, three, six, seven, three, eight, three, nine. That's 29 only on one side. Probably about I had no idea they would lay this many. I've never had a spiny tail with this many. That was 29, right? Yep. 30, 31, 32, 59, 60, 60, there were 63, there were, I dropped three. 63 eggs, that's more than I've even found in a green. Wow. It is. That is more than I've even found in a green. We're gonna start cutting open our females this year and trying to get some data. Then I'm hoping FWC will show some sort of interest in want. So we're trying to get snout to vent length. That's how we measure reptiles. That's if you chop off the tail, the vent is uh, the butthole. The everything hole to be honest if we measure her she's probably what 11 inches or thing so we'll take a measurement on her snout to vent and then we'll let them know that this size iguana can produce at least 63 eggs got you iguana eggs